Good morning, good morning. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day so far. Man, it looks like another beautiful day for hiking. This is day three of the journey. And we're getting a little bit of a later start today. It's almost eight o'clock. I let myself sleep in, but that is because we are only planning to do about 15 miles today. And this campsite was absolutely perfect last night. Um, there was only one other person that showed up, was a young lady from the Ice Age Trail Alliance, and she was just car camping. So it was so quiet, so peaceful, and waking up to the mist on that lake, whew, wow. Wisconsin is so beautiful. Let's go see some more of it. Look at this beautiful bog. All kinds of birds flying around out there. Please seriously overgrown section right here. I did just check my GPS and I am on the trail. <laughs> there, that's more like it. Well, this is Gus Johnson Lake, and look how beautiful and peaceful that is. And then right over here, there is a little fire ring. So I'll bet you could find a spot to throw up a tent. So I sat down on this log to have a little bit of lunch and just noticed this little tiny frog. He's so cute. I wonder what he was doing before I got here. wonder what he'll do when I leave. So this segment so far this morning has had a lot of overgrown areas um, and a lot more little hills. So I'm not complaining. It actually kind of gives it a remote wild feeling and it's been kind of nice. Wow, that is some serious beaver activity. Just came across yet another little random pond in the middle of the forest. It's so beautiful. And another one. All right, this looks challenging. How am I gonna get across this with dry feet?
These dry leaves that I'm walking through smell so good. It's way better than any candle fragrance that you'll find called autumn leaves or whatever. These hemlock groves are just like enchanted. I don't know. I'm sure it's not even showing up really on the camera, but they're just so beautiful. We just came out of the woods over there, crossed the highway, and now starting on the Rib Lake segment. Well, looks like we're gonna have two sets of blazes for a little bit. Ice Age Trail runs together with Tim's Hill Trail. I love that they put some of these signs here because it really helps you interpret what you're seeing out here in the forest. We have about another mile to the dispersed camping area where I'm planning to stay tonight. And I just love walking in the woods at this time of day in the evening. It's just so peaceful. This segment has some really cool kiosks. This is our first official DCA, or dispersed camping area, that we're going to try out on the Ice Age Trail. Let's go see what it looks like. Alright, this is it. I have to camp within sight of this sign. I don't know why there's a mailbox over there. But I think we'll set up our tent probably right over here. This was what was in the mailbox, a cute little visitor book. Well, you guys, it was another absolutely amazing day on trail. The weather was ideal. The trail was beautiful. You guys, it doesn't get much better than this. Um, today was a little bit harder, actually, than I was expecting. Just with the hills and everything, I'm glad that I did not plan any more miles than I did. So I hope that you all sleep as well as I know that I'm going to. It's going to be a beautiful, peaceful night out here. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.